and we were terrible, but we were very happy about being terrible and noisy and everything. We had a real racket. And, uh, and then around uh, the beginning, in fact, it was uh, the end of 62, the beginning of 63, my brother had a band called The Warriors, and I joined them because uh, the other singer, they had two singers, my brother and this guy called Gordon, and he went off to get a real job and become a hairdresser. So <laughs> my brother said, because me and my brother used to work, well, we were working on the farm at that time, which was about a mile away, and we get up at six o'clock in the morning and go milk the cows and deliver milk to everybody in the town. And we'd sing songs all the time. We sang Everly Brothers, Buddy Holly, you know, he, and my brother sang Elvis Presley songs because he looked like Elvis. You know. He kept saying that, you know. And uh, he did actually a little bit, but everybody did. But uh, so, um, join the band, yeah. In fact, when, when we did our first couple of gigs, you know, uh, my brother said, look, let's go and see the Beatles. They just released this song called Love Me Do. It's on the radio now. And, you know, it's a good song. Let's go and see what they like. So we went to see the Beatles just before they were famous, you know, in, just near Liverpool in a place called Southport. And uh, we went to see them. And, and nobody screamed or anything. They just listened to this band. And this band was amazing. They played their whole first album, a lot of Chuck Berry and stuff like that, and Bo Diddley music. And we were just amazed, you know, we just wanted to be Beatles from then on. I started talking like that a lot, you know. I'm talking like that, you know, I'm moving my head around like my mum would say, shut up with that kind of language, you know. You're not from Liverpool, you're from Accrington. I thought, oh, okay, mum. And uh, so anyway, I thought I'd write a song about me and my brother. It was like this. Tony and me. We had a real good time in a rock and roll band back in 63. We used to, I can't remember the words, I don't know what I'm saying about <laughs> Tony and me, we worked so hard on the farm, we didn't have a care. We would sing all day, chase the blues away. We just wanted to go and play at the cabin in Liverpool. All those Beatles songs, she loves you, yeah, 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 yeah. And those every brothers, wake up little Susie, wake up, wake up little Susie, wake up. Ooh, Tony and me, we had a real good time in a rock and roll band, 1963. We used to drink too much and chase all the girls and get into trouble. Tony and me, we didn't have a care, we would sing all day, chase the blues away, we just wanted to go play, be a Beatle, all those Beatle songs, she loves you, yeah, 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 and those Beach Boy songs, help me Rhonda, help, help me Rhonda, help me Rhonda, help, help me Rhonda, help me Rhonda, help, help me Rhonda, help me Rhonda. Gigs and we played in a place called Sheffield, and uh, just south of Manchester. And uh, we did our first spot. We used to do about five shows a night. And after the first show, the manager came over and said, Excuse me, uh, would you mind if a friend of mine got on stage with you and sang with your band? And we said, Okay, that's all right, as long as we know the song. And this little guy came around the corner with a pint in his hand and said, can you do that song, Hit the Road, Jack? Yeah, we know that song. Okay, well, I'll sing that one then. So he got up on stage and started singing Hit the Road, Jack. And he sounded just like Ray Charles. It was unbelievable, just like Ray Charles. And after he finished singing, I said, that was amazing. What's your name? He says, my name's Joe Cocker, I'm 16. <laughs> True story. True story. Tony and me. We had a real good time in a rock and roll band back in 63. We had it going strong. We used to make music all night long. Tony and me, we worked so hard on the farm. We didn't have a care. We would sing all day, chase the blues away. So many wonderful memories. Anyway, on the way home from that gig, we were driving over the moors. And uh, we were driving over the moors. It's very, very dark. And there was sort of no no highways, it's just one road, you know? And you're driving away and it's raining and everything. And right in the middle of the road, we saw this big box. It's about that big, 
And we saw the box and thought, quick, there's nobody around, check the police, nobody around, quick, get the box, put it in the back of the van, it's ours. You know, so we're driving all the way home thinking, what's in the big box? <laughs> hey, it could be a thousand watches, man, it could be, yeah. it could be a camera, so it could be transistor radios, we're rich, you know. So we got home and uh, went into the front room, opened up the box, and there's 500 pairs of extra large underpants. <laughs> you, can't, you cannot make those stories up, it's true. Tony and me.